Okay, so you're on a scrum team and you're trying to get work done and, and, and hopefully you're using sprint goals and product goals like I've, like I've advised you in the past. Um, so how do you handle the interruptions, the defects that, uh, are, that come about unexpectedly during a sprint? Well, so let's start at the beginning. There are really two ways to look at defects that come at you when you're on a scrum team. There are planned defects. In other words, these are defects that uh, we know about and we're planning to fix them. So they're in the product backlog. They've been planned into the sprint. They are part of the sprint goal. They are something that we want to do. Those are pretty straightforward. They're no different than anything else that you might do as a developer on a scrum team. You, you plan them into the sprint. You figure out what you want to do with them and then off you go. No big deal. The more difficult defects to deal with are the unexpected, the unplanned defects, the critical defects, the ones that come at you absolutely have to be addressed right now. Now, let's be really clear about this. When there's an unplanned defect, uh, you really got to ask yourself the tough question as a team, as a product owner even, is this defect important enough? Is it critical enough that we as a team might be willing to sacrifice the sprint goal. Because once you start loading unplanned defects into the sprint, that is the negotiation. That's the compromise that you're making. So if we bring in an unplanned defect, something that just happened, we just found out about it, and we're in the middle of a sprint, the question has to be, is this crucial enough? Is it critical enough? If we work on this defect, is it worth sacrificing the sprint goal? So if the answer is no, it is not, it can wait. It can be picked up in the next sprint. We can deal with it then. Send it off to the product backlog, okay? Um, tell the product owner, if you're a developer or a scrum master, tell the product owner it's got to be dealt with right away, but it's not reaching that level of criticality that we're going to let it interrupt us. So it goes back to the product backlog. It gets open as a backlog item. We'll deal with it in sprint planning. If on the other hand, this is an unplanned critical defect, okay? Uh, you know, customers down, servers down, some, you know, something's really bad happening. There's really no choice to make here. You have to deal with the customer. You have to deal with the user. You have to deal with what's in their way. It's really not a question of, can we let them sit while we finish our sprint? Uh, their satisfaction is by far more important than this sprint goal in, the, in your current sprint. So at that point, it's a matter of bring, this, bring the defect to the team and let's attack it, right? What do we have to do to get it done? Is it going to take one, two, three, four people? You put the people on it that need to be on it and get it solved as quickly as possible. The rest of the team, anybody else on the team not involved in dealing with that defect, hey, do the best you can to keep the sprint moving, okay? We're not canceling the sprint. It doesn't make sense to do that. We're not giving up on the goal. We're going to keep working toward it. We might not make it, but hey, that happens, okay? So yeah, when a, when a defect comes to your team, First question, you know, if it's a planned defect, then it's in the sprint. If it's an unplanned defect, first question, is it critical enough to justify interrupting the team, which is very expensive, and sacrificing the sprint goal? The answer is no, goes to the product backlog. And if the answer is yes, it is that serious, jump on it, get it taken care of. You don't want your customers sitting with a down system. It's bad for everybody, all right? So that's what you do when those defects come at you. Good luck.